physical behavior of gas depends upon amount of gas, pressure, temperature, and its volume. Physicist Robert Boyle in 1662 explained or gave Boyle's law of gases. This law states that at constant temperature, volume of certain mass of the gas is inversely proportional to the pressure. It means when pressure increases, volume of the gas decreases and vice versa. We can write B inversely proportional to P. It is shown that when pressure in gas increases, then its volume decreases. Our product of pressure and volume is equal to K or constant. Let at pressure P1, volume of gas is V1. Therefore, P1, V1 equal to constant. At pressure P2, volume of gas is B2. Therefore, P2, V2 equal to constant. Hence, P1, V1 equal to P2, V2, or product of pressure and volume of gas is equal to the constant. Application of Boyle's law in daily life it is applied to fill air in tire. It is applied in respiration inside the lungs. When pressure on the lungs increases, then volume of gas inside it decreases. Limitations of Boyle's law. Boyle's law is applicable only to ideal gases. The law holds good only at high temperature and low pressure. Here we solve numerical problem related to Boyle's law. Here calculate the volume of oxygen at pressure 3.5 atmospheric pressure if its volume at 1 atmospheric pressure is 3.15 liter at same temperature. Here in question given that P1 equal to 1 atm, V1 equal to 3.15 liter, P2 equal to 3.5 atm. V2 equal to what? From Boyle's law, we know that P1 V1 equal to P2 V2 or V2 equal to P1 V1 upon P2 or V2 equal to 1 into 3.15 upon 3.5 which is equal to 0 0.9 liter. In this way, we can solve numerical problem at constant temperature when pressure and volume are different. Graphical representation of Boyle's law. By increasing pressure, volume decreases. Similarly, the product of pressure and volume remains constant. And pressure versus inverse of volume that get increases.